Okay, now what? We, he ended up falling asleep. I don't know what he was doing prior to me getting there. Okay, you don't know. So he ended up going to sleep. Yes, ma'am. And what did you do? Um, I fell asleep on his floor that night. And we woke up and we continued. Okay. What time did you fall asleep? I, I wouldn't know. Maybe around 4 in the morning. Four. It was and what time did you wake up in the morning? Maybe 10 or 11. And? And then um, we continued to argue about whatever we were talking about the night before. And um, I wanted to leave, and I told him to take me home. And I didn't drive Just to his- Just a second. Why did you tell him to take you home? You I said didn't you drive had your to his car. house. What? I did not drive to his house. How did you get to his house? He came and picked me up from my house. Ah. I, got, <laughs> I got home from Winona. And you got he, home from Winona at what time? <laughs> in the early morning. I'm, I really- well, that's what we're here for. You got home from Monona at what time? Maybe 2 o'clock in the morning. And you put your mother's car in the driveway, in yes, the garage? Yes, ma'am. And called the defendant to come and get you? Well, we were already in contact about where I was and when I was coming home, so he knew that I was... Uh, don't tell me what he knew. Okay. The plan then was he was going to... Did you go into your house? Yes, ma'am. Did you see your mother? No, ma'am. She was sleeping. So as far as your mother knows... You're going to be away for the weekend at your brother's house in Winona. She gets up in the morning and she finds your car, the car that she had loaned to you the night before, but she finds no you. Mm -hmm. Did you leave her a note? No, um, but my friend Maria was staying at the house, at my house with me. And so I just dropped her off and then I kept going. Oh, it gets more complicated. So you had a friend with you that you left to deliver well, she, the message to your mother that you were going to your boyfriend's house. Well, she was currently living with me as a roommate. I don't so. care. You don't leave your mother a note. No. Call I, the boyfriend. Boyfriend came to see you. Why didn't you just drive to his house? Because I'm, I'm not supposed to be in contact with him. My mom does not just like us. Just a second. Is there any reason for that? No, ma'am. She, my mother just doesn't like me communicating with Josh. And so well, I... She, there must be a reason. She must not like him for a reason. Yes. What's the reason? Um, just prior relationship problems that we've had, um, issues that we've had in our relationship. Well, what were you going to tell your mother when you came home? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're up at 11 o'clock in the morning and you're at Josh's house. You continue to fight. You told him to take you home and he wouldn't let you leave the house. Correct. He blocked the door. Correct. But you finally got out of the house. Yes. And tell me about what happened when you finally got out of the house. He took my shoes from me, one of my boots. And he so took I, one boot? Yes. I, I got out of the apartment building, and we keep our shoes in the hallway. And so I started to put my shoes on, and he's like, no, you're not going anywhere. And he, I had one shoe on, and he took the other one from me. And so I'm like, okay, fine, you can have them both. I'm just going to walk home then if you're not going to drive me. And so I gave him my other boot, and I started to walk home in the snow after that with just my socks on. So I walked down the driveway and maybe about four or five houses down the sidewalk, and that's when he drove up beside me with my boots in his car. Why and didn't you call somebody? I don't know. I what don't do remember. Mean, what do you mean you don't know? You're 19 years old. You have your phone with you. Mm -hmm. You pick up the phone and you call your mother and you say, please come and get me. Or you call a cab or you call an Uber or you go to a neighbor and say, I need to get home or something. Correct. Okay. I just wanted to get out of there at that point. Okay. So now you got out and he comes up in his car and... And he tells me, you know, I'm really sorry about what everything that I did. And I said, just please get in the car, put your shoes on, I'll take you home. I got in the car, I put my shoes on and instead of driving me home like he said, he was going to do, he turned the car around and started taking me back to his apartment building. And we got into about the driveway of his apartment building and I proceeded to jump out of the car to get away from him. And I started walking back home down the sidewalk as and I was doing. And now you had your boots on. Yes, I had my boots on at this time.